Hi, um, I'm making this video because sometimes I find it hard to do some precise transformations in Lightwave and there were a bunch of plugins developed to make these tasks easier. Uh, I'm just gonna show a few, this list over here at the left. Uh, but first, I would like to say that, for example, I like very much um, Lightwave's uh, Snap Drag tool. It allows me to drag and snap points around, but also sets of connected points. Okay, which um, let me know for sure that those points are in the same space. And when I hit merge, two points were eliminated, so one just left behind. Uh, I also like a lot of Translate Plus, which gives me a lot of um, options for axis and origin that most tools in Lightweight don't have. For example, if I pick a segment like this one, you can scale on that segment, you can rotate and translate in the direction of that segment. It's quite cool. Uh, but, well, many other times I find myself uh, not knowing how to do a lot of other stuff. And so, let's get me started with, with those plugins. Uh, first up, set value connected, which is basically like set value from Lightwave. But you can just pick one point and the connected points will move, keeping the, the same relative uh, distances so for example I say 0 on the X 5 on the, uh, um, on the Y 0 on the Z when I hit OK that point is gonna move to 0 5 0 and the other points will follow too the connected ones but I can also select this select all points and they, they all will move according to this point movement. Um, I find this quite handy. Uh, set fast value. It's like it's a little bit like a welding uh, snapping. Uh, you, The last point it's gonna be the target point so all these points I'm, gonna, I'm going to move to that point so if I set this X, Y and Z and I say the last point, it's the target, they're all gonna move there. Okay, but I can use this just to input in this point one of these point coordinates. So for example, so if I just activate the Z axis, they will all move until they find this point's Z value. Okay, so this is quite handy too, many times. Um, next up, a line distribute. It's like Illustrator. So, for example, if I use the align on X, here the lowest value, the highest X value, the mid value. Here, align to zero, it's gonna put them here positive, negative, middle. And distributes. There's two types of distribute. Distribute. This one will put even space between points center. So this points here. So for example, if I hit even, uh, the distance from this point to this point in the x, it's going to be the same from this point to this point in the x. So it's going to be like same distance, same distance, same distance. Okay. Uh, on the other hand, if I use distribute spacing, and I say even distribute spacing, it's gonna use the um, each each connected object um, bounding box. So it's gonna read this bounding box edge, and this bounding box edge. It's gonna be the same distance from here to here then from here to here okay and from here to here so it's the difference between distribute and distribute spacing uh, next
next up planet points planet points very handy when you want for example to squash a set of points between two so have this first and last point as my guide points and these three are going to be squashed in the straight line between these two so planet points okay this works like this if if you use lineup points EQ it's going to be different because it's going to line up in a uniform spacing so if I simply use lineup points here you notice this length is smaller than this one for example but if I use lineup points EQ all the lengths are going to be the same uh, next up C plane C plane is like construction plane Lightwave doesn't have one uh, basically what it does it's like rotating to to ground so for example if I press here and rotate to ground it's almost like using C plane almost um, it's quite handy for example if you want to let me if I want to do a horn on this guy's head and I want it to be really perpendicular to that polygon so I can come here do for example the cylinder okay see plane remove and goes back to the original position okay but with that cylinder really perpendicular to that polygon um, sometimes a uh, seaplane doesn't rotate doesn't align with the origin like I would like so I have I find myself sometimes for example having to for example here notice that uh, this could be better aligned with the axis so I, sometimes I have to create C planes several times so until I okay now it's aligned so I can if I want this one if I press now it's gonna be gonna have a nice alignment but the problem is uh, each time you C plane when you go to C plane remove it will only remove the last one so okay basically now I lost my my register position I cannot go back so that's why I have this orange cube shape here okay it's like my register rotation so I can go back um, whenever I want so say I use C plane with on it and it's going to snap my object back to original position okay no problem um, another use sometimes I like to use C play too for example I want these points here to be squashed on the same plane but I can't use line up or stretch because it's not it's not going to pick the um, not going to pick the plane I want because it's oblique so what can uh, what I can do is create a polygon and it's going to give a normal and if I hit create C plane it's going to move there okay so I can set value to zero on the y-axis and they're squashed okay now they are in the same plane plane remove back to the original position and they're really squashed okay 